Hey guys, um, thought I'd just give you a quick tour of my cinema, um, gaming room, mixing for DJing, and my collectibles. Um, currently, what I have on display um, or collected over the last sort of seven or eight years. Um, so, without further ado, I'll uh, spin the camera around and you can see I'll start over by the door and there we have a quarter scale of Celine from Underworld the first movie and she's sitting atop one of my speakers and then one of my friends did this. This is a hand painted picture, obviously, of Lara Croft from I think it's Legend, I believe this was taken from. Um, obviously, my big TV, 55 inch 3D TV. I do like my 3D movies and also have, obviously, as it's a cinema room. Nice big projector screen, and then we come over to here, and I can't remember what the character's name is. It doesn't really matter. She's um, one of the Hellcat members. I'm sure Marvel fans will tell me who she is, but she's being converted into another um, Star Wars character when I have the time and get round to it. And then a uh, personal computer, which is a uh, a bit of a beast. Um, he's got two sections to it. One side's got the electronics in, the other side's got the power supply in, in this side here. There's power supplies in there and it's separated from the main motherboard and everything. Uh, it's got liquid cooling as well. Um, there's fans underneath this. I put that on there to stop dust getting in it when it's not being used. Um, I used to play World of Warcraft a lot on Star Trek Online, but I don't play them anymore. Um, Obviously, the mini fridge with uh, Budweiser's to go, and then we get to my DJing gear, which is my Reloop RPA 8000s, which has got, um, if any of you know DJing at all, it's basically Serato control on here for Serato software, which I use via my computer, so I can mix MP3s using the Serato software, and it's called Digital Vinyl, basically that's a digital vinyl. There's no soundtrack on it. It just plays a source noise, which then converts the track that I'm playing into a digital sound, which comes out and plays the song when I'm playing it. Um, a Zone DB2 four channel mixer. And then we've got Lara Jade. There's a um, custom MHS parts. Um, Mara Jade Sabre that I made. Um, this is actually real brass in this section here. Obviously I did a lot of things to it myself. It's got a 3D printed um, grip section. Although I'm not, not don't think it is actually um, supposed to be a grip section. Um, custom blade plug in it. And then there's brass here. A custom crystal chamber that I built. It's not a, not a massively intricate or detailed chamber. I personally think that crystal chambers in lightsabers wouldn't be very complicated because they'd need to be field strippable to be cleaned and repaired to fix them. So having something that can't be taken apart in a field would be a bit pointless in my mind. As good as they look, obviously. I do like harps work which is absolutely amazing. Um, brass um, pommel insert, which I've had custom made there, my design. And these, so if you see these on anyone else's lightsabers, tell me because that's my own design, which I came up with for this JSK saber. And I'd rather not have them copied and banded around. 
And then a cut another custom um, blade plug. But I've got these blade plugs from a Facebook um, member actually that um, asked me for the design specs on the Ahsoka Tano ones that I did for my solos hold Ahsoka Tano sabers. And there you have Jaina Solo herself and there's the lightsaber. And then I scaled it up and turned it into this beauty. And I did a run of those. I think there's seven of them total. In total, one with a crystal chamber, two that I had chrome plated, one that's chrome plated with a um, string blade with the LS 6.5 CF um, soundboard in it. Uh, obviously surround sound speaker. And then we've got these cabinets, which are chock-a-block with Blu-rays. I mean, yes, I watch a lot of films and I have a massive interest in sci-fi in general. So when I am giving an opinion about a film, usually it's because I've watched it quite a few times. And if they do something to a film that I don't agree with, well, they make it in such a way, then I'll give my opinion. As many of you know, and probably will comment. <laughs> and there's my uh, nearest display cabinet, which has obviously got Darth Maul, Qui-Gon, and Obi-Wan's Revenge of the Sith Saber in here. And then there's my one of, five, one of 500, I think it is, which I got from Star Wars Celebration in London a few years ago, poster which is signed and numbered down at the bottom, but you can't see it because it's behind the lightsabers there. And then there's my custom Ahsoka Tano statue that I'm still working on four years later. I do manage to do a little bit every once in a while. I'm pretty much done with her now, just a little bit more to do on the base, I think. And then I can start thinking about finally painting her. She deserves it. She's been waiting for long enough. There's my Solo's hold. Ahsoka Tano Sabres and one's got CF 6.5 in and the other's got a Nano Biscuit uh, 3.0 in that one so it's not the uh, it's not the Neo Pixel version it's the older version unfortunately otherwise I'd have converted it and then we've got KR Sabres Rebels Ahsoka Tano Sabres and there's my Master Replicas LE, Revenge of the Sith Vader Saber, which is the only one in the world that's been converted so far. Um, obviously I did the work on that, did the conversion on it. It's still the only one that I've ever seen that's been converted and this has got a Profi board, 1.5, 28mm base speaker, um, 7 8 blade with um, NeoPixel. Um, Darth Vader bust, Revenge of the Sith, obviously, goes with the Sabre. Solo's hold, run number one. Luke V2 Sabre, which I still haven't installed yet. I've, I've made up a custom crystal chamber and parts and everything for it, and I just haven't had the time to do it. So they're still waiting. Uh, an empty spot there, which is for my 89 Sabres mace window which is currently in the workshop waiting for me to do a build on it which will have NeoPixel and Profi 1.5 in it when I get it finished and then we go over to the Sif Holocron which I believe still works and it makes a blinking racket <laughs> a lot of you already know what this is it's the book of the sith which comes with all sorts of notes and things in there from luke skywalker and there's a some type of compass i believe it is and that's meant to be a um, sith um, crystal a lightsaber obviously it was noisy 
There's a Darth Maul bust. And there is something that all the Americans, well, the older ones like me, that were into BMX in the um, early 80s. No, it's a Patterson Racing, circa 82. This bike held the number two plate in the southeast region where I live in the UK for quite a few years. Uh, it was one of my friend's bikes that rode it. It wasn't actually mine, but I just couldn't resist buying it. I had a lot of memories from when I used to go BMX racing and I don't have my old BMX bike anymore or my old race one. I've got plenty of BMXs, too many in fact. And then there's my artist proof for my Savage Beast Run. It's not installed yet. I'm um, in the middle of um, doing some work on the chassis for it. Uh, changing bits and pieces on the chassis that I wasn't happy with that weren't working. And there's my cast white bronze prototype for my Sarge Ventress hilt, which has got a prism 5.1 in it and a tricree with a temp setup. Although I have got an actual pair of them from the run that I did. And there's the uh, bust, obviously, Count Dooku and Asage, which is probably the best looking Asage Ventress that you'll see. It's just a shame they didn't make it a quarter scale. I believe it's a one fifth scale, this one. Um, obviously, there's my projector, which is also a 3D projector made by Panasonic. And there's my jumble of messy shelf bits and bobs, Lara Croft, so like Tomb Raider. Yeah, it's very dusty actually. C3PO collectible. Um, collectible, well, I'll say collectible, Pepsi Star Wars cans from back when uh, Revenge of the Sith actually came out. Yeah, uh, there's an American. A Pepsi can actually, which I got a few years ago. Yoda stuffed in a glass thing to stop him getting dusty. Rogue One. And then my favourite shelf. Savajo Press. Emperor Palpatine. Darth Maul, and these are all quarter scale, and he's probably my favourite of all my quarter scales just because of how rare he is and how difficult it is to find him at a decent price. So you're lucky if you can find one under a thousand pounds in the UK, and I got him at an extremely good deal and I actually purchased him when I was at Star Wars Celebration in London. And you come down to my sideshow, those um. These are Sideshow as well, made by Sideshow. And these are also Sideshow, which is their Court of the Deadline, which they started a few years ago. And these are also quarter scale. And I think these are awesome. The detail on these are absolutely incredible. And for obvious reasons, with the amount of mixed media that they've got with them, I keep them in a the cabinet because they're just a complete and utter pain to dust otherwise. He's Court of the Dead as well. Now I've got a few Harry Potter bits and pieces. I do like Harry Potter, believe it or not. And obviously you've got Narcissa Malfoy's wand. You've got... Um, oh, I can't remember what his name is now. Malfoy's dad's wand. And you've got the Order of the Phoenix or Dumbledore's Army one set. And then Baby Doll, Emily Browning from Sucker Punch, which I think is an absolutely awesome film. It's it's not awesome in the fact that it's a good film, it's just I don't know, it's just something about the film. So this statue here is actually the same as my Ahsoka Tano custom statue, which I showed you earlier on. And it's one of these that I've converted into Ahsoka Tano. 
because basically there's two versions of this statue. There's the normal version and there's the exclusive. This one's the exclusive version, which comes with the option of having a handgun in her left hand, whereas the normal version doesn't. In the normal version, she only has a gun in her holster. So in this one, you have the option of both. So I converted the non-exclusive version and kept the exclusive version. So there's actually sweets in there, which I've had for a few years now. I'm actually surprised they've not started sticking together yet. But they actually come from the Warner Brothers tour in London. And I've got the old chocolate frogs in there. And a couple of pieces down here. Obviously a Predator mask and a T850, I think this one is from Star, um, Terminator Salvation. This one I'm actually doing conversion work on as well. The back, I've actually managed to remove the cap at the back of it and it will have sound in it. And I've also converted the eyes on it to give it the correct eyes because this was a Blu-ray collectible um, special edition. And the eyes are just completely wrong, whereas I've got the correct eyes for it, which have got the little diamond patterns on them. And they're actually interior um, warning lights for cars that they used for it and I managed to find them so it's going to have the correct size fitted in and then obviously you've got Jason Voorhees which is one of those snow globe things but it's actually not a snow globe it's a blood globe when you shake it it's got red in there that falls down so obviously it's meant to be a couple of kids on a boat in Crystal Lake And then you have a lenticular of Harry Potter, the Deathly Hallows, which one side is Harry Potter. And as you move across it, it turns into Voldemort, which obviously doesn't come out very well on a camera when you've got light shining on it. So that's pretty much all of it in here. And then obviously you've got my AV equipment in a cabinet that I never actually got around to finishing off. It's my 7.2 surround sound Yamaha um, amplifier, my old 360 Elite, and then my new 360 Xbox One X, a uh, Blu ray player, and a TV digital set box. And then, ah, one thing I didn't show you was this. This is underneath my DJ equipment. So my DJ cabinet is actually, it's a Art Deco, period Art Deco cabinet. It was a cocktail cabinet. So I keep spare sabers in here, older sabers, ones that aren't actually finished yet. And if you look here, this was the first ever custom Sabre. Anyone that's known me long enough on the forums knows this. This is my first ever Sabre that I built, which was based on um, another character Sabre, which is pretty um, battered and weathered looking, and I call it the Fallen Hero. And then you have my prototype for my JSK run. Which if you look there, you'll see JSK PT on it, which is JSK prototype. And if I compare this to the other one, you'll see the differences. Like the emitter's longer, so the handle's shorter and the emitter's longer. And then it obviously didn't look right in scale. And then this one's just got a TCSS pommel on it, whereas the other one's got a completely different pommel to match the actual toy. And then you've got General Kota Sabre, which I still haven't finished yet. It's just sitting in there waiting for me to do something. It's probably going to have a nano biscuit with a lead string put in it. And then I've got a couple of other props in here and my fusion lightsaber, which has got a crystal chamber and stuff that. Um, Pretty much everyone's seen who follows me. And then another custom saber that I'm doing. This is 
kind of based on the scrap tech style that Erin did. And it's got one of um, Erin or Solo's hold pommels on it, leather handle. And then at the front, obviously, I've gone my own way. I'm not doing it with a um, I'm not doing it with a Graflex style front end. I've got that type of front end there, but the rest of it is going to be my own. Got a bar graph which will be going in the side of it, and it's going to have power buttons there and there. Obviously, you can see that. And Aaron at Solo's Hold was kind enough to um, send me an extra Soka Tano bunny ear on his first run when he did it because I wanted one for this and I think it looks pretty awesome where it's going to be once it's done anyway. So yeah, there's a couple of sabers in there. <clears throat> and then, oh yeah, one other saber and a couple of other bits. Fast and Furious, Brian's car, Dom's charger. And then this other chrome saber, which you've probably all seen on my Facebook page at some point. I've posted pictures of it up. Still not installed yet. So, um, there you have it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope it wasn't too long-winded, if you've got this far into it. And um, I'll catch you later. Have a happy new year. Bomb out.